Pet Doctors is all about being the best pet parent you can be. And to do this, pet parents have a lot of responsibility around ownership. To tell us more about those responsibilities, we welcome back Pet Doctors vet Rebecca Coote. Welcome. Hi. Really nice to have you here because this is something that I think sometimes people don't think things through when they do get a pet. Mm -hmm. uh, what are some of the things that you should be thinking about before getting a pet? Sure, so you want to look at what your lifestyle looks like and what time factors and space factors you might have. Are you renting or are you in a little apartment? Because we want to own pets responsibly and they're not a short-term commitment. Cats, 14, 16 years, you know, that, that's an average life expectancy, dogs, 8 to 12. So it's good to really think into the long terms and how they might fit into our lifestyles. Because mm, quite often a child will be harassing you to get a pet yeah. and they don't think it through. <laughs> that you would be 20 and who's going to look after that pet? That's right. Right, absolutely. Or you might want to be travelling overseas mm. and that's something you've got to think about as well. So when you're choosing a pet, why is it so important to look at the breed that you're getting? Different breeds have different characteristics. There's personality traits, physical traits, so a Great Dane is going to be a little bit different to a Chihuahua. And also, um, you know, their energy levels. If you've got a high energy breed like a Husky, that's not going to match every household. You might want a a uh, greyhound that sleeps upside down happily on the couch all day and goes out for a bit of a walk in the evening to match your lifestyle. Mm. Um, you know, thinking again about your property size or if you're renting, are you allowed to have pets where you are? Um, wanting to know where you're going to get your pet from as well, so thinking about rehoming some of those animals that are in desperate needs of homes and shelters and SPCAs. Or if you're looking at getting a purebred, doing your homework on the breeders because there are different health predisposed mm. issues with certain breeds and breeders, responsible breeders will be doing a lot of checks and uh, pen hip scores or specialist eye evaluations to try and make sure that they're not passing on some of those issues onto those puppies or kittens that they're breeding. Because that's the, not always the case is that there are some no. breeders that maybe aren't so reputable and yep. they are, there's genetic problems with the with the breeds isn't there? Yeah and even if you breed two healthy dogs it doesn't guarantee that the babies are going to be well but you know most of those breeders are really proud to show off what they've been doing to have the best and healthiest babies that they can. Okay so if you're getting a puppy or a kitten this spring what are your responsibilities as a pet owner yep. to make sure that they get the best start in their life? Absolutely so there's the basics, your desexing, microchip, you know not all pets have to be desexed but it's the responsible thing to do. There are great health benefits to the individuals avoiding prostate problems for dogs, mm. um, breast cancer for cats and dogs and also you know we're going to avoid some of those unwanted babies because there's just too many pets out there and there's not enough homes. Mm. Um, worming and fleeing, these things are basics so microchipping it's compulsory for all dogs to be microchipped, cats it's not but it's a really really good thing to do and it's probably shifting in that direction so that we know if we get a pet brought into us that's been injured or lost we can scan them and the first thing we want to do is know you know how are we going to contact the owner and, mm. and get them home um, vaccinations really important thing you know we want to prevent them from getting ill and these babies are going to need the series of vaccines and then for the rest of their life they're going to need annual health checks and vaccinations um, pet doctors has a really brilliant solution to that for these young ones adolescent Vac for Life is a program that's been coming out recently. Okay, so tell us a little bit about that. Sure, so for pets that are under nine months of age, we're calling them adolescents, and they get a discounted rate on what is a membership for the rest of their life. So it covers their annual health check and whatever vaccines they need. And for 165.50, then you're set up for your pet's entire lifetime. So it doesn't count the baby ones, but it's from there on out. So a couple of years equates to that same amount. It's really good. So basically once they hit about nine months old, they've done all the baby ones, yes. $165 gets them vaccinations. Yeah, the while they're under nine months of age, if they sign up, then they get that discounted rate. It still exists for everyone else, the adults as well. It's just that little discount that they get when they're young. And everybody likes a discount. Yes. <laughs> hey Rebecca, that's really interesting. Thank you so much for that. Have Welcome. We've got a kitten in our house at the moment. Oh. <laughs> so having a pet is an exciting time and pet doctors want to help make it as enjoyable for you as possible. Pop in to see the friendly team at Pet Doctors if you need any advice about your pet, even if you haven't got them yet. And they can help you through this whole process.